Welcome to my napkin journal. Um, I use this journal basically to create um, pretty glue book page spreads with napkins incorporated somehow. Um, no, this is not a good way to use up napkins because I use little tiny pieces and then I'm left with more napkins than I began with because now I have 4,000 pieces of the same napkin. So yeah. Um, this is one you have to do for the love of the napkin. And I am pretty undecisive, indecisive about what I'm doing because I haven't been in the flow of this for a long time. So, um, it takes me a little while to get some art, um, you know, some art juices flowing. And, um... You know, I changed my mind a few times and it's just a pain when you're not in the rhythm and you're not used to being in the rhythm of creating. The thing I like about the napkin journaling is that uh, it gives you an excuse to use a different medium, which is the napkins. And I like this book because I like to collage on text. I like how that little bit of text looks through the designs of the napkin and of course the designs of the napkins themselves are super duper you know they're pretty and they're inspiring so overall it's a pretty inspiring um you know way of uh art pieces that you create i think with napkins uh and i think that they are really well loved in our art community because of how gorgeous most of them are uh and they're fun to swap. Uh, one thing I have a hard time with is finding words, going through all of my words, as it's been a while. Um, you know, it's hard to get one to fit the exact situation, which in my case is this spread that does not match at all. And I'm very sorry about the glare. I did not realize it was so uh, glary. I will have to move my light the next time I do stuff with magazine images. Um, but anyway, I had a, I had a little bit of a hard time finding words. Uh, I have a lot more phrases to use up and to go through. I try to get all my phrases cut nicely. I don't know why I do that because a lot of times I end up cutting the phrases up anyway to use um to arrange the words the way i want them i don't know where that napkin came from if you gave me that napkin i love it um because a lot of the napkins that i use are ones that i've gotten in happy mail and swaps because i've done a lot of napkin swaps because i got a lot of napkins and i use the um, glue sticks with these because i really like that texture of the napkin piece, although I love the texture of it when I wet glue on the bottom and wet glue on the top, don't get me wrong. But uh, I like the glue, what the glue stick does too. And again, the book pages I think really helps because it really adheres to it. To the book page uh, pieces, you know. I ended up speeding this video way up um, because of my severe inability to choose images for the spreads. Like I said, it's been a while. I've been out of, um, you know, really getting my creative juices going. I've been kind of out of that zone for a while. So I'm really, I was really trying to uh, put something on each individual page that might be inspiring to me. Um, you know, and just waiting for the right image to click. You know what I mean? If you glue, you know what I mean? So, um, adding this head onto this cheetah was cool. Not like a hundred percent what I envisioned, but you know, it, it looked, it looked good enough for what I'm doing. You know, this is just a silly little glue book. It's not a work of art. Um, but Either way, it's fun to go through my images and to play with my images and use 
the things that I have available to me and, you know, um, shop your stash, like going through my stuff. Wow. Totally, you know, totally inspiring. Um, I decide to get out a knife. That's not something I do very often y'all. Um, but yeah, it is so much fun to get inspired by the stuff I already have. But I'm finding that my gigantic, humongous, insanely huge amount of fussy cuts, it's a little overwhelming. So it's easier for me to take, you know, a little handful and go through them that way. So I'm considering, once again, um, a different organizational system for my fussy cut images. And when I figure out something that works for me, I will clearly share it with the rest of you lovely folks um, because if I can find something that's a little bit easier to manage my pages then I want to you know I want to be able to share that with you to help you maybe find a way to keep your inspiration and creativity going and not feeling the overwhelmed feeling of having way too many images um and, you know, I sell the magazine images in my Etsy store and I sell them in packs of 50. And I said, you know, either 50 or some of them are 30 and some of them are 25. I said, you know, maybe if I just gave them a set amount, like 50 images, people would be more likely to use them wisely in their creative projects. You know, not use them wisely, like, oh, don't use that picture unless it's a special event. I mean... It might help you to be more creative because it's 50 images or 20 images or whatever pack you buy. Um, you know, it's not 3,000 fussy cut images in an array of baskets. You know, you get one package, 50 pictures, do what you can with it, you know. So that's kind of why I keep it like that. Um, on this page here, I kind of got going a little better. I kind of had my, I kind of got a little bit more in the zone of finding what fits and what looks right. Um, so I was pretty grateful. I was pretty grateful about that. Uh, I know I should use a wet paintbrush. And if you are new to decoupage, just use a wet paintbrush to rip your napkins. I, I don't have my water brush right there. My space was kind of torn apart. And I have my cart across the room. And I mean, who's going to get up and get a paintbrush, you know? When you're in the zone, you got to run with it. So, yeah, I kind of got a little bit more uh, involved in the process and less involved in choosing images. I got really into the framed sunset piece there. Um, I really like this woman with that mandala looking piece. So, yeah, I, I was starting to find my niche and find what I liked and find um, the images that flowed in my screwed up brain. And I'm sure you can all relate. Um, so I, I, I have worked in this, it's been a while. I haven't done a flip through of it because I don't have a lot of pages. So that's why I kinda, you know, just kinda flip over pages fast because I wanna do a flip through of it and I want you to see the things I've created. Um, I started this in 2019. I started this with inspiration from Carla at Caged Fish. She does a napkin journal. I don't know if hers is the same exact thing, um, but when I s saw the napkin journal and when I heard the term napkin journal, I said, oh, you know, that's cool to have a journal that you use napkins in the art spread. And uh, I just kind of rolled with it and this book came out. Um, the book has nice thin image, um, thin pages in it. So I glued two or three of them together and it makes like the perfect thickness, the perfect page. And the book is a great size too. Um, I put a napkin on the cover and I spray sealed it. Look at, I got that girl. Sometimes I just, you know, I've been, I've been sorting all my heads and putting my, my heads and stuff so I can more easily put together Franken people. Um, but anyway, uh, this book just worked out. It really worked out great. And I really love how the book came out and I love that I can still use it, even though I haven't touched it in four years. Cause I'm like, 
you know, horrible. I'm horrible at art, I guess. But uh, yeah, that lady's huge head definitely belongs on that little itty bitty body. And why not draw little stick figure sharpie legs and hands that look like bird feet. Okay. Yep. I went there. So, yeah. I um I got into it. I got I got in the zone. Those black and white butterflies, the black and white picture that's Monet, in case you're wondering, in that picture. Uh, I have a few Monet books that I have harvested or need to harvest. So it works out really well. Uh, he makes a great art piece. And so does his art. Um, I love him. He's one of my favorites. I don't know what I just put in the corner there. And I'm sorry. It's like out of frame. Like as usual. Something screwed up. <laughs> Something screwed up in the video. Um, but. I hope that you go and. Try using something different. Even if you don't make a whole journal out of it. But if you don't often use mag uh, magazine. Napkin art. This is something I was trying because that napkin's a little bit thicker. So I was seeing if I glued on the napkin, if it would work better, but it don't. So don't do it. Um, but anyway, even if it's not napkins, just something you're not used to using, find, you know, create some pieces and don't stop at one. Don't make one and say, oh, this doesn't work. Because if I had stopped at that first page that I was really struggling on, I would have never made all of these beautiful pages that I wasn't struggling. So... You know, try something different, and if you want to make it simple, try napkins because they are a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to work with. They are, they make, they look beautiful on book pages like they're meant to be there. I mean, look at the text through those flowers and images. I mean, I just love it. So they're easy to work with, and they, they easily make a blank page of any sort inspiring very quickly, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I may, maybe I'll challenge all of you to work in some, uh, napkin journaling projects, or if you're not into napkins, use something that you don't normally use, you know, use something new and exciting to you. Uh, I just use napkins because I have a ton and because believe it or not, I don't use them for a whole lot of stuff except for collaging on book pages or collaging on something. So if I'm going to use them for collage, I might as well use them in all areas of collage. Oh, and I cover furniture with um, dictionary pages and napkins. Yes, I have a dresser that I, I did. Maybe someday I'll post an updated picture. Yes, that was a small hand, as you saw there. Pretty hand. And th that's just a quote I found with my old-fashioned phony thing. And there's the cover. So, yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. And I want to see some of the art you make that's a little out of your comfort zone.